What's up, you guys, and welcome back to our eighth episode of Heavy Weapon Concepts. And today we're going to be talking about a shotgun so fun to use, it actually make me consider swapping out the sandwich, introducing Heavy's Little Buddy. Now, the reason I'm so excited to talk about today's Heavy Weapon Concept is because the Little Buddy is like no other shotgun that Heavy currently uses. It would actually add an entirely new element to Heavy's playstyle, and that's because the Little Buddy would essentially work for Heavy, like how the Force of Nature currently works for the Scout, but better. So how could it do all that, you might ask? Well, let's take a look at the stats. So for starters, upon close range, the Little Buddy deals a vertical knockback to any enemy. This means that enemies hit by the Little Buddy's shells won't just fly back, but oftentimes straight up, allowing for an easy second shot to be landed on the target. And then to make matters that much better, the second stat of the Little Buddy is that any shot landed on a target that were to be midair counts as a mini crit. So essentially, most times you land your first close range shot with this weapon, you're easily going to be able to follow it up with a second devastating mini crit. And for its last upside, the little buddy comes with a 30% faster fire rate bonus. So basically, as long as your weapon is fully loaded, not only will comboing your enemy be easy, but it'll be quick as well, which is needed, considering the enemy will still be trying to attack you even if they're mid-air. Now these are some pretty cool concepts for a heavy shotgun, but alone, they might be a little bit too strong. So of course, here's unfortunately the downsides. Now the first con to this weapon is that it absolutely cannot deal random crits, which to some might actually not matter at all, but this just means that in lobbies where random crits could be dealt, this weapon cannot. However, the second downside affects this weapon much more in my opinion, which is that the little buddy has a negative 67% clip size, which means, yes, this shotgun can only hold up to two rounds per clip, and boy do you feel it if you miss a shot. The reload speed for this shotgun hasn't been changed, so essentially if you miss, it's gonna take some time to reload, and it's likely gonna be time you don't have if you're right in front of an enemy. So if you miss one or two of your shots, one of your best bets for survival is to immediately swap out to your minigun, or try and land something close range with your melee. Now, normally this is the part where I'd give my potential fixes for a heavy weapon concept, but believe it or not, this is one of the rare occasions where I actually wouldn't make any change at all. See, although the upsides of the little buddy are pretty great, the two round clip really does handicap the weapon, and ensures you have to play it carefully to be effective. And since you can only land those two shots, there are the instances where even with you mini-critting, you won't actually kill some of the tankier classes, like say, the Soldier or the Heavy. So it's certainly not overpowered either. But what I will say about this weapon is, even though it is a very high risk and high reward, this has got to be one of the funnest concept weapons I've ever played with. See, because the knockback from the little buddy projects enemies upwards instead of just back, it makes for some potentially awesome combo plays for the Heavy, which really makes the class more exciting. For instance, if you saw a sniper peeking out over a ledge, you could simply run up to him, launch him up into the air with your first shot, and then finish him off with a mini crit. Or say an enemy's in your face and you want him gone, simply shoot him up with the first shot and then launch him across the map with the second. And for my personal favorite, if you come across an enemy that can handle both your shots without dying, simply land your two shots and then run towards them with your melee and deliver the final blow. It's like the ultimate wombo combo for heavy and it's really fun if you pull it off. And if you're smart, you could even combine this with the killing gloves of boxing, so that after you get that last hit in, you'd have 5 seconds of crits granted to your minigun. But anyways, I'd have to say I really enjoyed testing out this weapon concept, and could totally see it making it into the game someday. Honestly, of almost all the concepts I've tested out so far, this one would seem almost the most realistic to me to make it into the game, because it would require the least amount of effort for Valve to put it in, as it truly doesn't seem like it needs any changes made to it. But, who knows, maybe there's something I missed and the weapon would be incredibly overpowered. So let me know what you guys think below in the comments, whether you agree or disagree that this weapon would make for a great addition in the game, or whether it'd simply be too unbalanced. I'll look forward to seeing what you have to say, and until next time, this was Big Joey! Later.